It was impractical for us to build something that would mechanically move. So we had to find a different way to do that, a different way to virtually move the source in relationship to the reflector. In a traditional light, what you do is you move the source relative to the focal point of either the reflector or the lens, and you get a different beam angle or a different beam width. You get a spot or a flood or somewhere in between. So what we did is we created nine zones of light that are additive. And so if we look at the tower, we can see there are nine separate zones of these CSPs arranged in a circle. And by lighting up different zones of this light engine, we can, in essence, move the source relative to the reflector. And that's exactly how we are able to control the beam. Now, most guys work between 15 and 50 degrees. Now, with our new technology and the way we're adjusting the beam, we can go all the way out to 90 degrees if we choose, because we have control of all elements of the beam we realized that there were all kinds of other things you could do now that you could just light up certain portions of a beam. So for example, you could make the center very hot and then a very smooth taper off to the edge of a 75 degree beam. So it allows the, the lighting designer, the cinematographer to basically create their own beam patterns. Once that beam pattern, of course, is created, you can save it off and you can take it to the next job if you want. All these are basically saved as presets. So the next evolution of this was, okay, we can do that with beam shape. What if we could change the color of the beam as it went from center to edge? So we added another menu, which is the beam K menu. Now it allows you to control not only the output of that particular zone, but also the color temperature of that particular zone. So what you can do, for example, is you can have a very cool center and a very warm outside or you can create a halo effect. You have lots of flexibility in terms of both output and color temperature within the beam of, of this hard light. 